It's officially time to make some frame stiffeners for my Suzuki Samurai, and with the help of my CNC plasma table, this job is going to go by pretty quickly. We originally chopped this frame off, the factory frame, and extended some frame rails a little bit flatter to give us more clearance for the Toyota axle in our front three link design. So I'm going to start by grinding this all flat, cleaning everything up, and then we're going to go and design these in SolidWorks by taking a picture of the frame to match the proper contours. With the help of my sawzall and my cutoff wheel, we've got the big chunks off. Now it's time to hit the grinding disc and clean up these frame rails. I'm just kidding, you guys can't even understand what I'm saying. Anyways, I have the frame all cleaned up and we're ready for these frame stiffeners. My next step, I'm gonna take a photo of this frame. We're gonna transfer that into SolidWorks. I'm gonna try to map out those contours of the frame lines to get a profile to be able to cut on the plasma table. I'm then gonna load that into sheet cam and I've loaded up a fresh plate of 316 steel. We're gonna cut just one side first, make sure everything looks good and it aligns actually and fits the frame like we want it to. If all looks ready, we're gonna cut the second piece, tack it on and we're gonna get this thing welded on there. Adding some frame stiffeners onto these is definitely going to strengthen up that joint where the new tube meets the stock Samurai frame. And that's going to give me a lot of extra strength in my shocks as well as bump stops because these are definitely going to be taking a lot of stress with the added weight of this new axle as well as just the driving style that the Samurai is going to see when doing a bunch of rock crawling. I do not want to go overboard on this because I do not want to be adding unnecessary weight. So our design is definitely going to keep strength in mind and try to reduce the weight as much as possible. This led me to my decision of using 316's plate for my frame stiffeners. And thankfully the CNC plasma table in the shop is going to make this job really easy. Before assembling these onto the frame of the Samurai, I'm definitely going to do some pre-treatment because this is a potential spot for corrosion in the future just because I'm going to be marrying up the frame plate onto the frame of the Samurai and there's going to be an air gap in behind these that if moisture gets in there, it can start corroding this metal over years of use. So my step to try to prevent this is I'm going to be using a zinc-based weld-through primer. So I'm going to coat both the frame and the backside of these frame plates the frame stiffeners before I do my welding 
I'm gonna make sure I do some pre-treatment on it with a wire wheel and some acetone. Get this to stick on there really well. And then that way when I put these onto the frame and I clamp them onto the frame of the Samurai before welding, I know that the back side is gonna have corrosion resistance and it's not gonna eat away over the next years of the Samurai. This extra step today might save me some headache in the future. I'm sure you noticed, but I also put a bunch of holes in these frame stiffeners, and that's just to get more surface area of weld onto the frame. I also positioned some of the holes on the seams from where the new rectangle tube for my new frame rail and the old frame rail of the Samurai meet. That way that joint is going right through the circle, and I get a really good weld across the seam of it to try to really add extra strength as much as I can. These frame stiffeners are looking pretty good. I've got them all welded together. I end up throwing a coat of black paint over top of them just to really dial that in so they prevent any rust on it as it's a lot of raw steel. It definitely polishes up that frame, how it originally had a bit of a bump in it. Now it just comes up gradually and then cuts straight across to that new section of frame rail that we put in. I'm quite confident these are gonna be very strong. We're not gonna have any issues with these. Although now I say that, maybe I will have some issues on the trail. But I feel like we put a good amount of effort to add as much, as much strength as possible without adding a ton of weight on here as well. I still need to chop off the front of these frame rails and build a front bumper and a winch plate. So they're definitely not going to stay looking the way that they do right now. Um, but everything else is looking really good. I hope you enjoyed this episode of walking through the whole process of building these frame stiffeners. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun to take a, a bit of a smaller project from start to finish pretty quickly. Thanks to the CNC plasma table. This thing is a lifesaver for this project. But I'm gonna end that video right here. So we'll catch you guys on the next one.